To collect my natural surface water sample, I chose to go to Cheena River Recreational Area just east of Fairbanks. So here it is on uh, the map from the Gazetteer. I could also have used Google Maps to show this. I stopped at, mile pull at a, at a pull-off near mile 47. Unfortunately, the riverbank there was really steep, um, and the water was cold and swift moving, so I decided to sample from a stream that was nearby. Here's a picture of the creek that I sampled from. Notice um, the cans, uh, the, tra the uh, aluminum cans that are uh, caught in the debris in the middle of the, in the, middle of the creek. You can also see that there's a four-wheeler track across the water and a fire pit on the other side. In the creek, you can see that there are uh, rock that the rocks in the creek are covered with black moss uh, that's sort of moldy looking, um, and also there are um, green filamentous algae or some kind of microbial community that's uh, green and filamentous. So when I measured the water quality parameters, I ended up with a pH of 6.7, a uh, water temperature of about 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and a uh, uh, ORP of 600 millivolts. So on my water sampling trip to the Chena River Recreation Area, um, I went out to mile 47 of Chena Hot Springs Road near Fairbanks. Um, the air temperature was about 66 degrees, the weather was overcast, um, and I sampled a small body, a small stream between the Chena River and the road. Um, the Chena River Recreation Area is highly used for various recreational pursuits because it's located very near Fairbanks. In the summer, uh, folks use it to do a lot of fishing, camping, hiking, four-wheeler riding, uh, floating, and other things in the area. At the pull-off where I sampled, uh, there was a campsite in the woods in addition to numerous four-wheeler trails and fire pits. Um, I also observed some soda cans in the stream uh, where I sampled. And so that actually, you know, indicates that there's actually pretty heavy use by people.